Mr. Jim Spitt, Country Manager, Flo Grenada, Ms. Curling, Abad Marshall, Acting Education Officer, District 4, Ministry of Education, members of the Flow Senior Leadership Team, parents, graduates, awardees, members of the media, specially invited guests, viewers all. It gives me great pleasure to welcome each of you to the Flow 2021 Scholarship Awards. I will be your host for this morning's proceedings. My name is Jelani Glean, and I am the Marketing and Communications Executive at Flow Grenada. This scholarship program is now in its 30th year of celebration. We have contributed to the academic and scholastic achievements of over 400 students now. And it gives us great pleasure to welcome a new a set of awardees as we say goodbye to the graduates of 2021 as they continue their academic journey. They shall all forever be part of our Flow family and we continue to support them and wish them well wherever they may go. Our partnership with the Ministry of Education has been a tremendous one over the many years of this program. We are grateful to them for their contribution in supporting us in finding the awardees each and every year. We say thank you to them and we look forward to the many, many more years of working together. And finally, this program is really meant to go along with our mission here at Flow Grenada to transform lives in the communities that we serve and also contribute to a nation building. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce you to someone who has a special passion, a deep desire, burning fire for this program and what it means to the families and the awardees that it serves. Ladies and gentlemen, well, please join me in welcoming Mr. James Pitt, Country Manager of Flow Grenada, to address you. It gives me great pleasure to address you at this, our 30th Annual Scholarship Award Ceremony. This program, which commenced back in 1991, remains one of our company's hallmark initiatives. This scholarship program is one of many ways Flow continues to illustrate its commitment to connecting our communities and improving lives. During these past 30 years, Flow has invested in the lives of over 400 Grenadian families. These capable young men and women, without a doubt, have been worthy. Today, several play leading roles in local, regional, and global industries. I am proud to welcome the new recipients and, and applaud this scholastic success thus far. I urge you to exercise the discipline, deliver the effort, and display the right attitude to achieve success. Use this opportunity provided here today to propel you in achieving your career goals and life ambitions. In the spirit of the theme for this year's ceremony, triumphing over present challenges, daring to make today's dreams tomorrow reality, tomorrow's reality, I challenge you to relentlessly pursue your dreams until they become reality. Remember, it is your attitude towards future challenges that will determine your ultimate success. Undoubtedly, the COVID-19 global pandemic continues to impact life as we know it. We must adapt, embrace change, and evolve our daily routines if we are to live a healthy and successful life. Getting vaccinated and adhering to safety protocols are some of the requisite changes we've been forced to embrace to operate in what has become our new normal. Your families, communities, and the nation are proud of you. At Flow, we too 
are proud of you and are delighted for the opportunity to be a part of your respective homes. We will support you every step of the way on your new scholastic journey. To the students who are currently enrolled in the program and continue to demonstrate exemplary performances, we recognize your achievements and proudly congratulate you. Kudos to you all. Continue to be the remarkable ambassadors for this program. I also congratulate the current graduates of the program upon the successful completion of their course of study. Do not let this be the end. Challenge yourself to chase new dreams. Remember that your dreams today, combined with the right attitude and commensurate hard work, would yield your re realities of tomorrow. At Floor, our attitude is, global pandemic or not, we remain committed to investing in Grenada's growth and development. For instance, we are collaborating with the government of Grenada to provide broadband service to approximately 1,500 needy households for $20 per month. In addition, we continue our other corporate social responsibility activities to the betterment of our country, despite the challenges faced by our organization due to this pandemic. To our scholars and graduates, I remain excited to follow your journey as you embrace the challenges ahead and progress towards becoming tomorrow's future leaders and innovators. Rest assured, you are not alone. You have the support of the Flow family. We are 100% with you. So get out there and be awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pitt, for those inspiring words. I'm certain the awardees and viewers all are grateful for your insightful words and would take to heart your challenge to pursue academic excellence. As we mentioned earlier, this scholarship program wouldn't be what it is today without the partnership from the Ministry of Education. And as such, I would like to welcome Ms. Eben Marshall, who will give us some remarks from the Ministry of Education on our 30-year partnership and collaborative efforts over the past years and moving forward. Ms. Eben Marshall. A pleasant morning to all. It is my pleasure to bring warm greetings to you from the Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs, and Information. Today's award ceremony for the Flow Annual Scholarship Program offers an opportunity for celebration and expressions of sincerest gratitude. We celebrate the hard work and commitment of our awardees and all those who have contributed to their success. We celebrate the vision of FLOW for this continued initiative to support the academic journey of our students. And yes, gratitude. We are grateful to God for his goodness that amidst the challenges confronting us, there are corporate citizens like FLOW who have placed highest priority on giving back to our communities, thus strengthening our human resource capacity and nation building efforts. We are tremendously thankful for the longevity of this program. This year marks 30 years of consistently giving back to hundreds of our nation's students to ensure that financial barriers are removed and learning can flourish. Research has proven that when all stakeholders and partners in education work together to support learning, Students tend to earn higher grades, attend school more regularly, stay in school longer, and enroll in higher level programs. With these important benefits in mind, the ministry embraces initiatives of this kind. Thank you, Flo, for your enduring partnership as we work to provide quality education for our nation's students. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., and I quote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort 
and convenience. But where he stands at the times of challenge and controversy. My dear young students, you have demonstrated resilience and dedication to your studies despite the prevailing circumstances of a global pandemic and its crippling implications. Your success tells us about the metal you are made of. You are able to navigate the challenges of the online environment, the blended approach, and the other adjustments to the new normal in education. Hats off to you. Congratulations. Your journey continues. Do not be afraid of the challenges you will encounter. Know that challenges define your character and they are an inevitable part of life's journey. If you don't have them, you will never be able to discover your true strength and greatest potential. Gold is the most precious metal, but its beauty is only truly revealed when it is placed on the fire. So too, you must use the challenges to strengthen your re resolve to climb higher, work harder, improve your competence each day, and shine. Always remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but rather the size of the fight in the dog. You have what it takes to overcome. You are already a champion. Believe it and act on it. Every challenge presents a valuable life lesson. Ponder the lesson. Analyze your behavior and improve your response. That's growth, young people. I endorse the theme for today's ceremony, triumphing over present challenges, daring to make today's dreams tomorrow's reality. As it encourages you to truly live, you must dream. I urge each one of you, success is a work in progress. It's not instant coffee. As you dream, work towards making them reality. One step at a time, one day at a time. Never give up. In closing, awardees, I wish you well. Do your best. Do not settle for mediocrity. And hopefully, one day, you too will be able, able to give back to your community. Flo, you have not just given help, but hope. Thank you for making a positive difference. May God bless us all. Thank you, Ms. Marshall. I am certain the students, the graduates, as well as the awardees are all revved and believing themselves to go forward into this new academic year, knowing that they too can achieve it if they believe it. To present the graduating class of 2021, I would now like to invite someone who is no stranger to this program and has been a part of it, an inductee herself, a graduate herself, and now a coordinator of our scholarship program. Please in, join me in inviting to the podium, Ms. Priscilla Barry. Ms. Barry. Good morning, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Flow Scholarship Program graduating class of 2021. These are... Nigas John, graduating from Westerhall Secondary School with seven passes. Afia Benjamin, graduating from Anglican High School with eight passes. Tafrai Edwards, graduating from St. David's Secondary Catholic School with nine passes. Roger Jeffrey, McDonald College, 11 passes. Ashanti Taylor, St. Joseph's Convent, Grenville, four passes. Kelvin Greenwich, St. David's Catholic Secondary School, 12 passes. Priya Campbell, Anglican High School, eight passes. Kia Klein, St. David's Catholic Secondary School, nine passes. Also graduating from the scholarship program this year are our two Times C students, Shamari Noel and Nazim Chateau. Congratulations to you both, and a heartfelt congratulations to Nazim Chateau, who is the current holder of the Lagrenade Shield. Congratulations, all. 
I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize our top performing students of 2021 who are currently in this program. And these are uh, Makeda Lett, Kyla Lewis, Jamil Thomas, Antoine Paul, Diana Joseph, Haley Joseph, Jadida Henry, Kiara Joseph, Kara Mitchell, Cordelia Holston, and Shanik Williams. All of the students have performed in the top 30% of their classes, uh, obtaining an average of 70 to 100%. Keep up the great job, guys. Uh, continue doing well. Thank you, Ms. Barry, and congratulations to all of our graduates of the Full Scholarship Program and top performers. We continue to look forward to your excellent performances as you continue your academic journey. Without further ado, I would now like to welcome to address us, a graduate herself, to speak to us on behalf of our graduating class of 2021. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Rogel Jeffrey. Good morning to everyone. It is indeed an honor and a privilege on my part to be doing this speech for us all graduates, and I hope that I do you justice. Five years. Can you believe it? Five years since we entered secondary school, not knowing what the future then held for us. Five years of this company flows on wavering help. I would say thanks for trusting us, but I'd like to think that it was more than trust. You saw us as the game changers of tomorrow and helped us to come across the first leg of our journey. I remember the first time we were made aware of the scholarship program, my family and I, and then we were called in for the interview. Man, was I scared. I was sitting there with my mother by my side, my hands in my lap, fighting on the nervousness and a million thoughts flying around in my mind. I could have had a heart attack, but guess what? I made it through. Everything went comfortably. I was reassured that there was nothing to be afraid of and that the process would be a simple one. I got through with the scholarship, like many of you here, thanks to God. And for five years, Flo has been such a great help for us all that we can't thank them enough. However, there were challenges. This year and the past two have put us under immense pressure and stress. COVID-19 came in like a thief, taking everything before we can even fully comprehend. Schools were closed, business places alike. He even robbed us of our freedom. Lockdown and coffee were dictating how and when we moved. We were left wondering when we'd be able to go back to school, and if not, how we'd get our schoolwork done. Another concern was, would we be safe from the dreaded COVID-19? Nevertheless, we made it through. And as a team for today rightfully states, triumphing over present challenges, daring to make today's dreams tomorrow's reality. Graduates, yesterday we were the cloudless dark night sky with few dim lit stars. Today we are the full moon with thousands of bright stars on our paths. And tomorrow we'll be the bright sun in a clear blue sky, shining down, marking the way for those behind. We have made it this far thanks to the Almighty God who works in mysterious ways. He gave us hope and the assurance of health and success through the ones around us who endearingly loved and cared for us. Parents, friends, well wishers, Flo, thank you. Without you, we would not have been here today. And as I close, graduates, remember, Miracles only start when you give as much energy to your dreams as you do to your affairs. Thank you. What a wonderful young lady. And congratulations to her again. And I'm sure that everyone is moved and she has well represented her class. Now on to our keynote speaker, Dr. Jonathan Ramirez is a medical doctor in his internship year at the St. George's General Hospital. A former recipient of the Flow Scholarship Program, he attended the Grenada Boys Secondary School, obtaining 11 CSEC passes, and then graduated from the TM Marshall Community College with an associate degree in natural sciences with honors. He followed his lifelong passion in completing his bachelor's degree in biology and his MD from the St. George's University both with honors. 
During his tenure at the medical school, he completed clerkship training at various hospitals in the UK and US. An avid steel pan enthusiast, he is a member of the Common Cheru's Steel Orchestra for the last 16 years. He enjoys reading and singing. In the future, he hopes to pursue specialization in internal medicine with a fellowship in hospital medicine and infectious disease. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Jonathan Ramirez. Today, I am humbled and honored to be the keynote speaker at this year's scholarship award ceremony. We recognize the stalwart achievements of all this year's recipients, underscoring the immense effort and sacrifice you have given in getting to this day. Take a moment to soak it all in. What feels like not so long ago, I was sitting right where you are now, fresh-faced, wide-eyed, very young and unsure of what lay ahead. I remember still wondering how this opportunity came into place and whether I deserved it. I questioned my ability. I wondered if I was able to live up to the expectations that were you know, made of me. And I just wanted to make everyone proud of me. And I'm certain that you share some, if not all of those same feelings. Now, as you embark on this new phase of your educational journey and academic pursuit, you will be faced with many obstacles, detours, distractions. This rapidly evolving world presents some new challenges that sometimes you will not be sure how to respond to. You will have to learn to navigate. And people who you would usually turn to for help may not have the answers that you're looking for. It is then you have to learn to look inward to find the source of strength and courage that you seek. Triumphing over present challenges requires first an unshakable belief that triumph is in fact possible. If you do not believe that you can triumph, then you've already lost. It all begins in the mind. If you believe it can be done, nothing can stop you. The fact that you're here today means that you've triumphed over all the hurdles and roadblocks that you've already encountered. You are already a winner. You have been learning remotely, battling with socioeconomic and familial problems throughout this pandemic, and yet you are here today as a shining testament to your strength and your determination. What are your dreams for your future? What solutions do you have to the issues that plague us today? It's okay if you don't have the answers to those questions, but I encourage you to give careful and precise thought to the vision that you have for your life. Turning a dream into reality requires a plan and consistent, disciplined effort. Each new day brings you closer to that goal that you have, but only if you make each new day count. Challenge yourself. Do not settle for being average. Surround yourself with people who will propel you to do your absolute best. And in doing so, you become an inspiration for others to do the same. So much is dependent on your success. The future needs your brilliance, your creativity, your ideas. Every one of you has something unique that you bring to the table. Do not diminish yourself or allow yourself to be diminished by others. So many will be looking up to you, but most importantly, do not disappoint yourself. Give your best every time and you will be proud of what you've achieved. I encourage you to show appreciation to everyone who has played a pivotal part in your success. Remember, your successes are your parents', your siblings', and the wider community of which you are a part. And now that you're a member of the Flow family, your successes are their successes. One speaker at this event many years ago said to me that the best way you can show thanks and show gratitude is by doing your absolute best, taking full advantage 
of this life-changing opportunity that you have been gifted with. Parents, we say thank you for your unwavering support and tireless sacrifice. We are here because of you. To Flo, we say thank you for your continued commitment to improving the lives of this nation's youth. I am a product of that commitment, and I am sure that in the years to come, that the successes of these future leaders will serve only to further solidify that commitment. I wish you all the best for a stunningly bright future. Just continue to believe in yourself. Put God first, and not even the skies will be your limit. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ramirez, for your inspiring speech. Uh, I'm sure that everyone here has been touched by your words and feel encouraged that they too can achieve if they believe. It now gives me pleasure again to reintroduce to you Ms. Priscilla Barry, our Flow Scholarship Coordinator, to present the new inductees into our scholarship program for 2021. Flo is pleased to welcome these following students into the scholarship program and to the Flo family for 2021. These are Ashel Jessamy, who comes from Croshu RSC School and will be attending St. Joseph's Convent St. George's. Sanya McLean, who went to Dover Government School and will now be attending Bishop's College. Rosanna Mitchell, who went to his borough secondary, uh, sorry, his borough government and will be going to Bishop's College. Omari Sylvester, who went to Leicester RC and will be going to his borough secondary. Kiara Douglas, who went to St. Andrews Methodist and will now be attending St. Andrews Anglican Secondary School. Kanan Charles, who went to current government school and will now be going to Grenada Boys Secondary School. Romeo Felix, who went to St. Jo uh, George's Methodist and will now be going to Presentation Brothers College. Kimaika Simon, who uh, went to St. John's Anglican Primary School and will now be going to Anglican High School. And finally, Denicia Barry, who went to St. John's Anglican Primary School and will be attending St. Joseph's Convent St. George's. Welcome all. Congratulations are in order for two of our graduates this year for uh, an extended scholarship to T. Marishal Community College. These are Rogel Jeffrey and Kelvin Greenidge. Congratulations to you both. Welcome, awardees. We look forward to you working hard, reaching your full potential, doing your best. Flo family is here to support you, and we are going to continue to be with you all the way through. Now, I would like to introduce another outstanding graduate to give us the vote of thanks and bring this ceremony to a close, Ms. Kia Klein. Good morning, all. I must say I feel privileged to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks for this ceremony. On behalf of myself and the 2021 graduating class, I wish to express big thank you. Firstly, to God for guiding and bringing each and every one of us up to this point and making this ceremony possible. I extend my gratitude to Flo Country Manager, Mr. James Pitt and the company for affording all of us the opportunity that we have gain the level of education that we did. A heartfelt thank you to all the parents, teachers, Ministry of Education, guest speaker, Dr. Jonathan Ramirez, members of the media, family, friends, graduate speaker, Roger Jeffrey, fellow graduates, new inductees, and lastly, a special thank you to Ms. Priscilla Barry, program coordinator, for all the encouragement throughout the years, for, and for always being the go-to person. Your work and efforts did not go unnoticed. Once again, from the 2021 graduating class, we appreciate and thank you all. Thank you, Kia, for your vote of thanks. And thank you to everyone who is present and made this production possible. We also would like to thank you, the viewers, who are looking at this video from home right now. And we do encourage you to share with your 
family and friends on social media so they too can share in the joy of this scholarship program and what it means to us as Grenadians.